Hey, best friends! It's your girl, Krista Adama, blogger of crystaladama.com. So when you're done checking out this video, I need you guys to definitely go check out my blog. Like I said, in all my videos, my blog posts are literally lit. Um, I know one of my blog posts is how to lose 13 pounds in 13 days. Another blog post is the three things I learned in the three years of me being single. Literally, content is lit and lit. So when you guys enjoy it and when you like it, definitely subscribe to my website so we can definitely have that one-on-one -on -one conversation and just, just bond together because you know we're best friends. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so basically this video is going to be about the got to be glue product as well as the gorilla snot like so on the youtube world and the hair community this debate about which product is better it, it's just ongoing and i feel like not a lot of people really know like what product is better and more importantly what product is better for them so i'm going to be explaining seven categories and let me pull up my phone to list the seven categories so that you guys know what product is best for you specifically so basically i'm going to go over the accessibility for the product the cost the texture how long does it last on your hairline um the residues if or if it has any or not breakouts and I'm going to help you determine which product is best for you okay so the accessibility between the two products now my products do look a little jank so don't judge me <laughs> so this is a got to be glue product that I was using before and this is the gorilla snot product that I currently use now so this one is the got to be glued got to be ultra glued this is the invincible styling gel so this is the black one. This is not the original one. And I'm using the Gorilla Snot in the sport version. And on the back, it says it has a hold meter of 10. So it's literally one of the highest hold for this product. Even though I keep on hearing from my other best friends on YouTube saying that the yellow one holds a little bit better, but I don't know. For me, this one works just fine. So I'm gonna be basing my opinions on this product. Okay, so for the accessibility, for the got to be glue, it was kind of hard for me to find that product. I feel like because of the hype, um, a lot of people were getting the product. And you know this product is also from Mohawk. So not only is the target audience African American African Americans because of the frontals, but like Caucasian white people are using it for their Mohawks and stuff. So excuse me, I'm sick, y'all. But um, so they're using it for their Mohawks and stuff. So there's really a higher demand, I feel like, for the got to be glue. So I couldn't find it at Walmart because it was sold out. So I had to get it from Walgreens. And you know, Walgreens is a little bit higher. So, but it's still it was still available at Walgreens. But I think I got the last product. So it may be a little harder for you to find got to be glue versus the Gorilla Snot. Um, Gorilla Snot is at your local beauty supply, it's at Walmart, it's literally everywhere, like, y'all, it's accessible. So I feel that the Gorilla Snot is more accessible than the Got To Be Glue. So the next category that we're gonna be going over is the cost. Um, so I compared the prices at Walmart between the two products, and they're literally the same price. There's really not a difference in between products, but let me look at how much product is in here. So it's 170 grams in here and it's 340 grams in here so you actually get more product within this one than this for the same amount of money so basically you're getting more for your money in here versus here and you guys can see it via bottle the next category that we're going to be going over is the texture so i'm going to be showing you guys the texture of the product so this is the texture of the got to be glue and this is the product of the gorilla snot and it's blue so as i'm feeling it comparing it this one feels a little bit thinner than this one but they're basically feel the same so the next category that we're going to be going over is how long do these products even last like do they last one day, two days, three days? Y'all, stop guessing. We're about to figure it out right now. So when I was wearing the Got To Be Glue, no, let me start by saying this. When I was doing research on the Got To Be Glue product, they said that it would last two to three days. Um, On my comments through my YouTube videos, some people said it lasts seven days. Some people said it lasts one day. But what 
the majority of comments were saying that it lasts two to three days and there's some people that actually made it to five to seven days um but for me unfortunately it barely even lasted a day um yeah yeah it barely even lasted a day for me so i feel like it depends on how your skin reacts to this and how it takes so yeah oh versus the gorilla snot um this one lasts a day but at least i know like it's no hype around it saying oh it's supposed to last two weeks and then i buy the product and it's like wait a minute it only lasts a day you know i already know it's not gonna last that long and i actually prefer it um to literally last a day i feel like wigs should last a day because you can have the freedom of taking it on or taking it on taking it off and then putting it on and you know just having that freedom like whoosh, like you know like so if it's lasting two three four five six seven days it's gonna be on your head while you're sleeping like bro this is not a sewing like let's have some freedom so i actually like that this product lasts a day and this as well too because for me personally i like to take my wig off when i get home okay okay so the next category that we're going to be going over is residue okay so for both of these products there's no residue even though this is blue there's no residue um or no seen residue for this the black version there isn't residue but for the yellow version of this for the got to be glue product which is the original version there is a residue so if you guys tend to go to the got to be glue i really do advise you to get the black version do not get that yellow version i'm warning you because when you see that residue don't be like well chris mm -mm, don't do it don't do it so definitely get the black bottle if you guys are leaning towards the got to be glue product okay breakout so for all my best friends who watch some of my um previous videos on hair or whatever you guys know that this got to be glue product broke me out if you guys are like wait it broke you out like what the video is gonna be linked below i have pictures on that video on how it looked and yeah this broke me out i don't know like for other people on my comments it didn't break them out but for some other people too it also broke them out too so it's just like it's literally however your skin reacts to it so just be aware that with this product you do have a chance of breaking out or getting an itchy sensation on where you apply this versus the gorilla snot literally i've been using it for like two three four months no breakout no itchy sensation like i love the way it feels like it just it feels like just regular gel like i just i'm so in love with it because literally when I, this broke me out it hurt i hate stuff making marks on my face so i i literally felt so bad using this product but when i switched to this it was like god answered my prayers thank you god <laughs> thank you god for real so, so now the last category is that we're going to determine which one is best for you okay so if you're a type of person where though you have a wig you want your wig to last a couple of days you're like you know what i don't have time to be taking it off i'm putting it back on in the morning i just want to sleep with my wig on if that's for you then you need to get the ultra glued product because more than likely um I guess I'm just an outlier in the situation, but more than likely is going to last two to three or you may even hit five to seven days with this product. But if you want a hold on your lace frontal for like a day, um, if you want to be able to take your wig off without like washing it and putting soap on it to take the, the tension off the product from your, your hairline or where you place the product on your head, then you need to get the Gorilla Snot. This Gorilla Snot is, it doesn't break you out. I feel like it tends more to sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, you definitely need to get the Gorilla Snot. So best friends, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope this video helped you out. Literally in 2017, like I say in all my videos, we're here to slay. We're here to leave nobody's behind. We're here to just, just kill the hair game because we're not doing that messy hair in 2017 like we left that in 2016 like for real so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video remember to check out my blog if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you doing join the friendship and i cannot wait to see you on my next video so i just want to say bye but let me stop bye best friends